Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. Last episode we ran Daytona, qualified 15th, finished 14th. Man, compared to the Daytona 500, we have improved the car dramatically. Very happy with that result, and that keeps us 25th in the season standings. So, time to see where we're headed today. We will be continuing the month of July. We're headed to New Hampshire. Let's hope it goes well. If my memory serves me correctly, we were not great here in trucks. Short tracks were definitely our uh, kryptonite for sure. But let's hope we can get a little better here. I tried the uh, downshift method, but we are not geared correctly to run third at all on this track. All right, so definitely carrying too much speed on the second half of the corner. I don't think the car setup is too bad. I just think really it's going to be modifying my driving to run a flat track with no bank. Car low, all clear. Hopefully we can keep the car fairly clean Because that has definitely been an issue for us this season we have wrecked a lot All clear I don't know how the car stayed all clean, but alrighty then Still there You're all clear So we just ran our first sub 31 second lap. I will be interested to see what kind of laps the leaders are running. I think I'm going to go You're ahead and clear. qualify. And then after qualifying, based on the times that the front guys are setting, I may have to make some adjustments, but we'll see. Okay, 29.4, so we're only like a second and a half off of pole. I honestly expected worse. So my goal here is just run a good lap, don't crash and have to start last. And we will see what we look like compared to everyone else. Cool. Could have braked a smidge more, I think. But we're fine. Everything's fine. We didn't catch the wall out of two. That's a plus. Got a bit squirrely in three. I'm gonna guess this is a low 31s. Alright, let's see where we place. Just kidding. We ran our best lap by four tenths. Alright, good to know. Okay, so we're starting 13th. We're a second and a tenth off of first, which is definitely better than I thought. I was expecting we probably would have qualified around the 20th range based on the times I'm seeing, so I'm happy with the car. I'm not going to make any changes. And of course, that means it's time to hear Alan tell us about New Hampshire. Hello, I'm Alan Bestwick and welcome to Loudoun, New Hampshire. At a distance of just over a mile, this squared off oval has seen some fantastic finishes in its history. 
Over 100,000 people attend each race, coming from nearby Boston, Providence, and all of New England to see the action at New Hampshire International Speedway. Thank you, Alan. Let's uh, try not to crash this thing. And we bombed the nose. Fantastic. Thanks, Tony. Still there. Car high. Clear high. Oh, hey, Terry. I was actually going to go to the bottom lane, but that's cool. I hope you like it there. There. So we've got 38 laps to go, 23 there. laps of fuel. As much as I like to They're short pit and hope that it gives us a tire advantage Carbo. at some point, the threat of a caution just makes it really difficult to make a decision Still like there. that. Ooh, I heard a big crunch behind me. Hey, Carlo. we're fine. Everything's fine. Carlo, yellow is out. Yellow is out. Yeah, I kind of expected. There's a spin in turn one. Pace car is out. All right, we've lost Car a few low. positions, but nothing too terrible. Clear low. Car seems to be in okay shape. Honestly, the car fired off pretty tight, and I know we were getting tighter during our practice laps, so I'm worried it's gonna get undrivable tight. We're at a point where I can't make it on fuel even after pitting here. So I'm gonna pit, try and make the car a bit freer. So it looks like our leader is gonna be pitting. There's quite a few damaged cars coming into pit, but very surprised Mark Martin pitting from the lead. Also, I only took the wedge down half a percent and did the air pressure adjustments in half pound increments. I didn't wanna swing really far and you know make it considerably worse so it'll be interesting to see how the car drives looks like we are gonna beat harvick out of the pits we have 34 laps to go and i believe it said 24 laps of fuel so we will need to stop again but hopefully it won't be a super long stop the race is going green. There's the green flag. Looks like Mark Martin is Still going there. the long way, trying to pass everybody on the outside. Oh no. We're. Oh no. Okay, we didn't hit anything. We're fine. Everything is fine. I was very worried that either I was going to overcorrect and smack the wall like I did in the Coke. Coke 600. Yeah, it was the Coke 600. I was very worried that was going to happen. So I'm glad it didn't. Glad the car is in relatively one piece. and hopefully we can get some positions back. The car does feel a good bit looser. That was a great lap. Oh wow, that was a pretty Stay solid low. lap. Still there. That was right around where we qualified time-wise. Hopefully we can get through the traffic without doing too much damage to the car. Car high. 
Also, hoping I don't abuse the tires. Because in theory... Ooh, I think that was Mark Martin that just went up and hit the wall. But I was going to say, in theory, we should be able to do a shorter pit stop at the end if we just need fuel. But if we tear the tires up, which it doesn't Still look there. like we're doing yet. If we tear the tires up, we might have to... Get tires. At Stay the very high. least, Still we there. should probably be able to get away at They're the end clear. with uh, just doing two tires. I have a feeling we won't abuse the lefts too bad. Even with that almost spin, I'm surprised how close we're staying to Harvick and Mark Martin. I really thought, especially Mark, would have just. Oh boy. I really thought Mark would have taken off. But he's just three cars ahead of me. Still there. Clear high. Okay, so as soon as I touch the brakes, we shoot left. That is not the best feeling, for sure. And unsurprisingly, we are starting to tear up the right side tires a little bit. So I'm going to try and back it down just a bit. Now that I'm trying to take it a little easier, Kevin and Mark are definitely starting to pull away quite a bit. Hopefully with some clean air we can put a couple good laps together. That would be quite nice. And yeah, the car is definitely tightening up. For sure. It's real loose on entry and then real tight on exit. I believe we are about in the window now where if a caution were to fall, the whole field would pit and be able to make it. Make it the rest of the way on gas. So honestly, with the strategy we're on, we're probably hoping to not have a caution. But if I get close to getting lapped or something, it might uh might be good for us to have the caution flag fly. Oh yeah, the leaders are probably on the the end of the straightaway that that we're coming off of, like just eight, nine seconds behind me. They will probably have to pit in the next five laps or so. So 
so we've settled in 25th, obviously not as good as where we started, but maybe pit strategy will help us get some more spots. We're going to find out. Plenty to go. I feel like we're definitely getting to that point where the guys that have not pit are going to have a lot less tire grip, so we should be able to make some spots up even before people pit. I just don't know if it'll be enough. Stay high. Still there. Also, having that big slide earlier definitely did not help my tires, but... I should probably pay attention to how the other guys are pulling off to pit as well so I can get a good frame of reference of what a green flag stop looks like. So we've made it up into the top 10. Still there. Obviously quite a few guys have pit, but Clear low. The car Still hit. top 10. Clear low. Clear low. Okay, we've made it up to third, so I'm assuming it's Mark Martin and Harvick in front of us. I wonder if we'll be able to stay out long enough to get a lap lead. Still there. All clear. And obviously a caution coming out now would be pretty sweet because it would trap a good chunk of the field a lap down. So our pit stop would still bring us out, you know, around third place. Definitely thought I was going to smoke the wall there. Yeah, tires are quite angry. That's okay though. Everything's fine. You're low on fuel. Yes, I am. Car high. The car is getting extra hard to drive, so it is time. Oh, just beautiful. 
gonna do 12 laps, two tires, drop the wedge, up the tape just a bit more. Yeah, that should be fine. And as expected, we are falling down the orbit, but that's okay. Don't know why it had me in first gear, but that's okay. Car high. All clear. Clear high. Okay, so we've made it back to 20th. I believe Rusty is going to assume the lead and will be a lap ahead of me. Still there. Stay low. Still there. You're all clear. Stay low. Still there. That was your best lap ever. Oh, look at that. 30.1. Ooh, thanks, buddy. Car high. Clear high. Car low. That wasn't great. Oh, hey. It got rusty past, so I'm happy. So yeah, the strategy may not have exactly worked out in our favor this time around, but Hold your line. compared with how we were running All here clear. in the trucks, 18th for the first time out, assuming we don't change positions, won't be that bad of a day. Car low. Is there now? Five laps to go. Hey, Jeff. Car high. How are you? Oh, yeah, there's the wreck. Just a parked Dave Blaney in turn two. Yeah, I, I probably would have probably would have thrown a caution for that personally, but uh, what do I know? Tires are not happy one bit. I'm quite surprised this pack of guys in front of me hasn't really driven away much. Obviously the big slides aren't helping anything but uh yeah i'm i'm pretty surprised with the the speed we have obviously i should have run more practice and made some changes before the race but you live and learn Ooh. I th 
think that's yeah that's Kurt that Busch that was uh, quite the ride he had there car high you're all clear all clear Hey, top 20, 16th place. Not too shabby. And look at that. Dale Jr. won. So I did keep Rusty Wallace from winning. Awesome. So it looks like after his crash, Kurt Busch fell all the way to 9th. Ricky Rudd was 15th the lap down. We were 16th the lap down. So... Kevin Harvick did finish 10th, so good for him, but I think he would have finished better. Same with Mark Martin if they had not pit early, but our car was so bad I felt like we had to, but oh well. Let's hope we've got the money in the green two weeks in a row. And look at that, 90,000 in the green, love to see it. So our New Hampshire results, we qualified 13th, came back to finish 16th, and that keeps us at 25th in the points, but we are getting closer to Hermie Sadler and to Mike Wallace. There's a big gap to 21st and 22nd, but we're putting the guys behind us even further behind us and inching ever so slowly up towards the 20s. And with that, we are over half a million dollars in the bank. So definitely going to be looking towards some upgrades a little later in the season. But that is going to do it for another episode. I just want to say thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you've got anything to say. And subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.